It was easily the scoop of the decade, perhaps even the biggest royal interview of all time. Well, there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. <laughs> but there are mounting questions for the BBC and the journalist Martin Bashir tonight over what he did to secure his panorama interview with Princess Diana. Do you think you'll ever be queen? I'd like to be a queen of people's hearts. 25 years on, Diana's brother, Earl Spencer, wants an apology. He introduced Martin Bashir to his sister in 1995, but says Bashir showed him faked evidence, and he claims the BBC knew about it and covered it up, and that only came to his attention very recently. In an ITV documentary this week, a former graphic designer on the BBC's Panorama speaks on camera for the first time to explain what Martin Bashir asked him to do. Martin asked me to make up a couple of bank statements about people being paid to do surveillance that he needed the following day. L. Spencer claims one of these fake bank statements was used to show how a member of his staff was being paid by a newspaper for stories about Diana. The other, he says, suggested the security services were also making payments in return for spying on her. Matt Wiesler says he was never told what the bank statements were for. I quite clearly felt that I was the one that was going to be the fall guy in this story. All I want is for the BBC to come forward and honestly make an apology. The BBC says Martin Bashir, who's now their religion editor, is seriously unwell and unable to help with inquiries. But he was photographed close to his home on Friday, apparently buying a takeaway. The corporation's new director general, Tim Davey, issued a statement today. The BBC, he said, is taking this very seriously and we want to get to the truth. We are in the process of commissioning a robust and independent investigation. But Mr Bashir and the BBC stand accused of breaching the ethics of journalism a quarter of a century after the interview, which had major repercussions for the royal family. Chris Ship News at 10.